All right, now let's go into uh, my favorite strategy, which is the double dividend strategy. So it involves collecting monthly dividends every single month, as well as selling options on the stock to capitalize on even more quote unquote dividends by collecting option income. So how do we do this? Let's get into it. Uh, so this is one of the fa my favorite stocks to do the strategy on because SPHD, just overall a great ETF. It uh, contains the top 500 companies in the US, has high dividends, low volatility, a uh, great five-year chart, as we can see. It's recovered nicely since March 2020. Uh, and it has a pretty good dividend yield of 4.52%. So looks like a great investment to me. So you could, um, as you can see, I've already made a few hundred bucks, 106 bucks, just by selling some cash care puts on the stock. Uh, I, I wanted to get assigned shares, but the stock didn't drop uh, that much to uh, to get assigned for my strike price. But uh, we will sell some more cash care puts to try to get assigned later. But let's assume that we have 100 shares of this stock. What we can do when we have 100 shares is we can sell a covered call. So we're going to be going to, I don't really like this November 18th expiration just because it's coming up pretty soon. So we're actually going to go to uh, December 16th, which is, month, which is a month out. That's fine by me. Uh, make sure you're on sell, make sure you're on call, and you want to choose a strike price that uh, you can get some nice income on. Uh, so if we have 100 shares of stock, we can sell a covered call. And what we can do is we can actually sell this $46 strike call option here. And we're getting paid uh, $25 for doing this call. And basically, when you're selling a covered call, if the stock price stays below your strike price, you're going to have the option contract expire worthless, and you're going to be winning that trade. As option sellers, we want the contracts to expire worthless and not hit our strikes. Uh, but if it does happen to rise in stock price above our strike price of $46, say SPHD goes to $47, we have to sell our 100 shares at $46 each. Uh, so this is kind of a win-win situation because you are going to make money from stock appreciation because remember, we're assuming we bought SPHD at 100 shares at $44 per share. Uh, and if it rises to 47 we're going to be making about $200 if we sell at 46 Because remember, if we if the stock price goes to 47 or even higher to 50 we have to sell our shares at 100 at $46 per share, which is our strike price. Uh, and if you don't want to get rid of your shares, then you can choose a higher strike price or you can buy back the contract to close it out, but you will be losing a little bit of money for closing it out early. So that's the that's strategy. It involves owning shares of the stock as well as selling covered calls every single month. So you're going to be collecting income from two sources, the dividends as well as the call options. Uh, and we can keep doing this every single month, collecting more and more money, reinvesting it back into the stock to collect even more dividends, more income. And ultimately, this is going to be a great strategy to help grow your portfolio. And it's pretty safe. It's not as risky as buying calls, buying puts, or buying some tech stocks. It's a pretty safe way, pretty consistent way to get um, some nice income. And if you don't already own shares of the stock, you can sell a cash care put, which is what I've been doing month over month. I've been collecting, as you can saw, as you can see, a hundred dollars every single two, two or three weeks. So this for this is example here, we can sell a cash care put at the forty-three dollar strike. Now what this will let us do is it'll it's pretty much putting in a limit buy order for a forty-three dollar strike, um, and if we get uh, assigned shares, which is when the stock price goes below our strike price. We have to buy 100 shares at $43 each, uh, which is pretty much a win-win situation because you're getting paid to buy stock at a lower price because currently the stock price is $44 per share. So that's why I love this strategy so much. It's helped me grow my portfolio, and I really want uh, you guys to take advantage of the strategy as well.